Look at this place and all the possibilities. Hello, Peter. Do I know you? This December, they're a danger to our universe. Spider-Man's greatest enemies are unleashed in IMAX. My problem is all this is. Spider-Man No Way Home. Experience it in IMAX coming soon. What's going on, guys? And welcome back to News of the Science, where we discuss comics, movies, games, and more. And in the next coming days, we're going to be getting a lot of Spider-Man No Way Home TV spots, which is why I've been posting them and re-uploading them on my channel for you all guys to see. And it's really exciting to be a Spider-Man fan. Spider-Man Monday is coming, or Spider-Monday, as it's called from the official trailer, is coming this Monday, the 29th. Do not forget to pre-order your tickets if you're going to go see Spider-Man No Way Home. Unless you want to miss out on seeing Spider-Man No Way Home, because I'm pretty sure those tickets are going to sell out within minutes. You guys better stay up tomorrow night, Sunday till midnight until the tickets become available. First thing, if you're going to order through Fandango or something or a theater near, near you, be sure to reserve your tickets no matter what. Don't miss it because it's going to be epic. Now, before I get into this, I want you all to like, comment, subscribe, and click on the bell notification so you don't want to miss anything. And I'm not going to keep you here for long. Just want to talk about that Spider-Man No Way Home TV spot. It showed little new clips here and there, but nothing exactly too new from what we've seen already from the initial trailer and, of course, the second trailer. And also, I want to talk to you all about the new Spider-Man poster, specifically this one. This is the official new Spider-Man No Way Home poster, and it's much improved from the last one that we saw. This one already features newer characters, such as, of course, the Green Goblin, Electro, and the Lizard lurking in the background of the shadows right beneath Doctor Strange. And, of course, Zendaya is right in the front as well, in the middle, as MJ. Spider-Man, of course, being the main character of the movie, is front and center kind of in the background but the biggest one out of all the characters in the front and it's really cool looking it's very warpy because dr strange is involved in this movie dr octopus's tentacles are surrounding the characters it's a really trippy looking cover of spider-man no way home and perhaps it's probably the best looking mcu spider-man poster i've seen as of late because honestly i have not been a fan of the spider-man movie posters with the exception of the sam raimi films those posters were amazing and they delivered great looking, eye popping, pleasing posters. So let's go ahead and talk about this. I promise I won't keep you here for long. So if there are, in fact, multiple Spider-Man in Spider-Man No Way Home, then Sony and Marvel have shown great restraint. Assuming that it is true, that secret can only be kept for so long, regardless of the veracity of recent leaked pics. For now, all we really have to go on are the trailers which have revealed that Peter Parker, Tom Holland, and Dr. Strange Benedict Cumberbatch causes mess. Peter's secret identity was revealed in the end of Spider-Man Far From Home, and that's why we went to Strange for help. But the spell to erase the world's knowledge of Peter Parker's secret has unleashed the villains from the previous incarnations of Spider-Man. Sony has released a new poster for Spider-Man No Way Home, which once again features Peter and Strange. However, the primary new addition to the poster is Zendaya's MJ. And in addition to Alfred Molina's Dr. Octopus's arms, the poster also features Electro, Jamie Foxx, and Green Goblin, Willem Dafoe. It may also include the Lizard in the Shadows. Marissa Tomei co-stars in the film as Mae Parker, with John Favreau as Happy Hogan, Jacob Batalon as Ned Leeds, Benedict Wong as Wong, J.B. Smoove as Julius Dell, Tony Rovolari as Flash Thompson, and Angori Rice as Betty Bram. Additionally, J.K. Simmons will reprise his role as J. Jonah Jameson. So what do you think about this new poster? Let me know your thoughts. Comment down below. I think it looks great. It's probably my favorite MCU Spider-Man poster to date. It's really trippy. It's got a mix of everything. It reveals so much, but so little at the very same time. It has confirmed villains. I mean, again, it's nothing that we haven't seen before. Uh, it's really cool, and I'm really excited for this movie. So don't forget, Spider Monday is coming up this Monday, the 29th. Do not forget to pre-order your tickets so you can go see Spider-Man No Way Home. And that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click on bell notifications so you don't miss videos like this. And I'll see you all in the next comic panel. Yeah.